Okay, this is a, revis a re revision session on place value. In year one, we have been learning about numbers and what they are made of from how many tens and how many ones. So if we take this number 16, 16 is not made, is not made with a one and a six, which is what some of the children thought in the beginning, is actually made with one ten and six ones, and together we can total 16. Similarly, with 25, it is not made from 2 and 5, because that would total 7, as over here we total 7 also. This is wrong, and this is wrong. It is actually made from 2 tens, which is 20, and 5 ones. Together, they total 25. So let's look again at what we've been doing in class. If we look at the concrete objects that we used here, how many tens and ones are shown? The number 44. So, right when we use our base 10, our Dean's equipment, it comes in little rows of 10. We have four lots of 10, that is 10, 20, 30, 40, and we have four ones. So, there are four tens, and four ones. Four tens and four ones. So four tens, which is 40, and four ones. Together, they total 44. Okay, if we look at the next uh, question, it's asking us. What number is represented in the grid? So if we look at the grid, how many tens are there? Let's have a look. There are three tens. So if we count them in tens, as we've been practicing hand tens in class, ten, and another ten, and another ten, ten, twenty, thirty. There are three tens. Okay, and there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven individual ones. So the three tens make 30, and combine, add them with the seven ones together, the answer is going to be 30 plus seven equals 37. Okay, let's look at the next um, slide. This, the moms and dads, is what we call a 10th frame. We have used these lots in class. We know that this 10th frame shows 10 because it is full. There is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. When it's full there, it represents 10. So, if one frame equals 10, then what is two full 10th frames going to be? Well, it is going to be 10 and another 10, and together we have two 10s, so that totals 20. Okay, so therefore, as we know that a full 10 frame equals 10, what number is being shown here? Well, we've got 10, and then we have another full frame, which is 10, and then we have two ones. So, Together we need to add them. There are two tens, which is 20, and there are two ones. 20 plus 2 equals, if we put them together, 22. To check our addition, we can always go back and in class we would use our number line to jump on. If you don't have number lines, you can always draw a number line, make one to check your addition. Okay, right, let's look at this image. How many tens have we got and how many ones? Well, we have 10 here, and there's another 10, and then there is another 10. So there are three tens, and there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven ones. Okay, so the three tens make 30, and the two seven ones, and together they make. 37. Okay, now on this slide, 
it is showing the American shapes and pieces which we use to also help us with our calculating and counting. You will remember that the blue frame, the blue shape in the input equals 10. So let's just double check that again. If you're ever unsure, you can check it by counting the circular holes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So one blue shape is 10. So if that's 10, I have another blue shape here, that is also 10. So I've got a 10 and another 10. And then I have 1, 2, 3, 4. I have 4. Four ones. So I have two full tens, 10, 20. Two tens equals 20. And I have four ones. So let me write that in my day. So I have 20, two tens. I'm going to add them to my four ones. And together they make 24. So the number shown is 24. Okay, now here we've got, it's asking us to make 32. Okay, what do we know about 32? How many tens has it got? Well, it's got three tens. So I'm going to bring over three lots of my base 10 that represents 10. So here we go, we've got 10, 20, 30, that's the three tens, and I'm going to add two ones. Let's put them over here. They're the two ones. Now, I'm going to use my pen. I have got three tens, so ten and a ten and a ten. Together, they make, I'm going to write up here, thirty. My three tens, and then I'm going to add two ones. So this represents just two. So it's 30 plus 2. Together, I've run out of space here, so I'm going to put the answer underneath. 32. The answer is 32. Okay, let's try another one. Let's put this down slightly again. Right, it's asking us to make 29. 29. First thing I'm going to do is look at my number. Okay. How many tens have I got? Oops. How many tens have I got? And how many ones? So, you need to think each time. 29. 29 has two tens. So, I'm going to take a 10 over here and a 10 over here. That takes care of the 10 part. So, now I need to make the ones. And I need the nine ones. So, I've got one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine. Nine ones. Okay, so let's have those together. And here we've got 20 plus nine, and together they make 29. Okay, let's make 40. Let's look at the number. We have got four tens. And we have no ones. So let's bring over four lots of ten. That's ten. Twenty. Thirty. Forty. So I'm going to stop here and think. Do I need to add any ones? No, I don't. So let's go back and represent that. I've got four tens, which is forty. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty. But I'm not going to add any ones. So if I want to, I can see a blank or I'm still put a zero there. And together that still makes 40. So there are my four tens made. Okay, now to practice doing that at home, can you think of objects that you can use at home to practice making the numbers which have tens and ones? Like we've done at school. Make the groups of ten first and then the ones. You could use Lego bricks, beads, pencils or other items that you can think of. Anything that you can group into um, tens and then create the ones. Practice making those and that will help you get it clear in your head, your numbers, how many tens there are on them and how many ones.